Jason, what's your advice to directors on directing actors? Uh, well, my, my, my advice for directors on directing actors, you know, the, I, I always find that less is more. Um, and I find the more direct uh, directors can be when they're talking to actors, the better. Um, uh, certainly, you know, I've, I've been on both sides of that equation. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm an actor as well. So I, and, and I find that, I, I find that the more, the more delicate uh, a director uh, tries to be, the more frustrating it is for, for everyone uh, involved. I, f I find uh, th the more direct you can be and the less you can say, the better, the better you are. The, be the better it is for everybody. Interesting. So you're not sort of tiptoeing around trying to no, be just, just, someone's just be really? direct okay. and concise. Uh, you know, I, I, I find uh, me as a director, and may, and maybe it's because I, I you know, I'm, I'm, so, you know, I, I, I understand the secret language of actors because I'm one as well. But I, I can go up and just say one word to an actor, um, and 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 they'll go, oh, oh, got it. Okay, good. And and that's it. Like the 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 less you can say, the better. Interesting. Okay. How is the process for you reading a script as a director different from you reading the script as an actor? Yeah, it's, it's, it's entirely different. Uh, you know, as, as an actor, your focus is very, uh, is very myopic. And, 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 you know, when I, when I read a script as an actor, I'm, uh, uh, you know, obviously I'm focusing on the character that they're approaching me to, to play in, in the piece. So although I am reading the entire piece, my focus is on is on that one character um, because as an actor you approach you approach the piece from from the point of view of your one of your character because you have to um, uh, and as a director uh, you know I'm I'm reading uh, the script um, uh, as the entire piece because your your focus as a director is. The, is is the entire piece and 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 uh, of the piece as the whole because you're responsible for the whole thing. So so uh, uh, so you know it, it, it really it really comes down to uh, to to the difference in the focus of the two crafts. Um, as a as an actor, your focus is very finite and and very uh, and and very myopic. And as a director, your focus is very broad um, uh, and very all encompassing, and it has to be. So for Cass and Dylan, which is your uh, feature directorial debut, mm -hmm. um, how many times did you read the script before you said yes to the project? Uh, I read the script twice before I said yes to the project. That's all it took. Um, uh, I was uh, I was I was very taken uh, with the opportunity to to tell uh, this story on a on a grand scale. I was. Uh, as a as a young man, I uh, I made a, a a journey from Winnipeg, uh, Manitoba to Vancouver, British Columbia, uh, with my father. Actually, oh wow, um, yeah, uh, when I was about to, when I was about ten years old, um, so I was very familiar with that with that landscape and that and how that landscape changes and and how that how that color palette changes as you drive from east to west across uh, across Canada. So I. Uh, so I, 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 you know, w once I was invested in, uh, once I was invested in, in the characters and the story, um, uh, I knew I knew the story that I wanted to tell visually as well, um, because it uh, because you know that part of the world um, and the way that the way that it changes uh, uh, from the prairies to the mountains to the to the coast uh, is is such uh, such a unique and impressive. Uh, change, you know, I really, I really wanted to uh, to impress that upon people. And seeing that it is a road movie, did you shoot it in sequential order? I mean, was there stuff that you shot out of turn? Um, you know, it, it's a movie, so of course there was. Unfortunately, you know, we we tried our best to uh, to, to to shoot it in sequence because you always do. But uh, unfortunately, uh, things uh, things never seem to work out that way. Um, but but I did you know I I, I I did do a I did do a lot of things that um, that ended up costing us uh, costing us um, time, um, uh, which of course drove uh, our producers crazy. Um, you know I was I was constantly you know we we would shoot something on the uh, on the trailer 
uh, in the in the in the in the Volkswagen that we had on the trailer, and then I would you know get off the trailer and shoot uh, uh, you know shoot the shoot run bys uh, and stuff in the car because I you know I really wanted the uh, you know the the run bys and the and the and the stuff in the car in the car to match the visuals that were that were happening outside the car because you know I you know there's you know there's sort of an old Hollywood thing where you know where they would say yeah you know you shoot shoot all the stuff you know just, just shoot all the scenes in the car it doesn't matter where they are like people aren't going to notice what's outside the windows but but uh, I believe that people do really notice what's outside the windows whether, whether they're really noticing it consciously with their eyes they like they notice it subconsciously and they and they especially especially you know because we were we were going through so many so many different topographical uh, areas in this movie. Like I thought it was very important to to shoot the scenes that were happening in the prairie, shoot them in the prairies, and the things that were happening in the mountains, shoot them in the mountains, and the things that were happening at the coast, shoot them at the coast. Because because there were you know there's such different areas, and the lights so different, and the colors are so different, and uh, so I so I really uh, I, I I had I had, to, I had to fight for those things, but but it, but I really wanted the audience to feel like they went on this two thousand mile journey with these characters, and and I wanted them to feel. Uh, as wrung out at the end of the movie as the characters felt, and and I think that um, I, th I think that the audience does feel feel that, and and by the time uh, by the time we get to the third act of the movie, I think the audience is 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 as is as exhausted as as these two characters are, and I think that I think that that that, that decision that I made plays a, a, a large part in that.